Good day everybody, welcome to Bite Size Networking, this is your host Mike Lopez. Today what I'd like to take you guys through is how we can share files as well as folders using Microsoft OneDrive. Firstly, there's, there are two ways that we can access our files within OneDrive. One would be via our file explorer and going to OneDrive. You'll then see all the files that are saved in your OneDrive. Um, another interesting point or tip, if you have a look at the status column here, when you see this round circle with a green tick, that does mean that the document is 100% synced to the cloud as well as accessible on your machine. When you see these blue arrows, um, that means the document is saved on my PC or the, fi or the file or folder and it is in the process of syncing to the cloud. And when you see this blue cloud like this, this means that the document is stored on the cloud and not on my PC. Although it's not saved on my PC, I can see a list of all the files and folders. Um, you can do this to save space on your PC um, so that all of your data is stored on the cloud because you have a lot more space availability there. And only when you want to open and access a document, when you double click on it, at that point, it will download to your local library on your PC. Um, there, also, there also are ways to maintain the size of that local library and clear it out once in a while. All right, so moving along. What we want to do is share files and folders using OneDrive with other people inside the organization or outside the organization for that matter. So if we go into this folder I created for this exercise, I have a Word document here that I want to share. So I can go ahead and right click on this document and go to the share option where, the, where I have this blue cloud. You'll then see this window open that says send link for this document. Now I can specify the people that can edit this document. Let me just open this up and show you the various options. So different options that you can select when sharing within OneDrive. First of all, anyone with this link can open, download and edit the document. Or people inside your organization that have the link can access, open, edit the document. Or people with existing access to the document. So the document may have been shared, but you may have moved it to a different location. Or specific people that I can specify one by one. Now, I also have the option down here to allow whoever I share this with to edit or not to edit, to view only. And I also have the, I also have the ability to block people from downloading it. So if I wanted people to view the document only, but not be able to download, save as, and make other iterations of the document, I can just use this option here to block them from downloading. That will ensure me that they can open it, view it in their browser, and do nothing else with it. So for the purpose of this, I'll leave downloading on, and I'm also going to allow editing. Now you will notice anyone with the link is grayed out in my situation here. Now when... Um, administrators of a network do set up OneDrive for their enterprise or their company. They do have the ability to block people from sharing data and documents with people outside the organization. This is obviously just from a company protection perspective, not wanting their data to just be shared with anyone, anyhow, anywhere. So a lot of companies from a security perspective would want this feature enabled. All right, let me go ahead and select people in B2E technologies, which is my organization with the link and I'll apply that. And then here I can go ahead and specify who I'd like to share it with. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to share it with myself so I can show you how, how it works. So you go ahead and type in the email address of the person. It's added me there. I can then say, hi, Mike. Here is the document as promised. And I can go ahead and send that. It's then going to send an email to all the people you specified there with a link that they can use to access the document. You can see I've just received the email here, which I've clicked on, and it's now opening the link in my browser. 
Right, so here is the document that I shared. Let me go back to the email so you can just see what that actually looks like. So the person that you're sharing with will receive an email like this. Michael Lopez shared a file with you and the note that I put, hi Mike, here's the document as promised. And then the person can just simply click and open the document. Now, that's a, that's a basic, straightforward how to share document. Let's have a look at a few different ways we can go about this. Um, when sharing, let's go back into the OneDrive share here. Something else that you can do, instead of specifying all the email addresses and sending a message and the people receiving it via email, there might be other ways that you'd like to share this link, maybe via WhatsApp, Telegram, Teams, Skype. You know, you may be communicating with people on different uh, platforms. So what you can simply do is click on this copy link option. And what that's going to do is it's going to just copy the link that it would have emailed. And you can then send it to the people. However, in whichever, in whichever way you would prefer. So if I now paste into Notepad, you'll see that it has copied the link to my clipboard. You can then send this to people however you prefer. And when they click on that link, it will open in their browser. And they'll have access to the document. But they would have to be signed into Microsoft Office 365 with their account, which would tie up with the account that you are sharing it with. Obviously, there's an authentication that happens there to make sure that only the people you have specified can access the document, not anybody with this link, unless you specified anybody with that link that would then share the document without requiring them to be signed into Office 365. Now, another, another way that I like to use this, if I am going to be sharing a lot of data with a person or a number of files from time to time, or I would like them to have access to a space where we can both put files and remove files and edit files that we are both or a team of us are working on. What you can do instead of sharing a file is you share the folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and say share. Again, we're going to specify the people that we would like to share it with. And we can say send. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and shared this folder. Now, the nice thing with that is that the person could even go in so far as creating a shortcut, which I'll show you how to do now. If we open up this email, the link only works for the direct recipients of this message. Great. So we can go ahead and open this and you'll notice that it takes us to that folder in which we will see the document that we were talking about right there's the document we want to share but now what we could do is take this link and then create a shortcut and call this shared folder with my now we'll have this shared folder with my which is great so Let's say the one of the people I've shared with this has created the shortcut and they have access to this folder. Let me go ahead and put that on the one half of the screen. And my file explorer I will put on the other half of the screen. So now this on the right hand side of the screen would be Mike that I've shared the folder with. And this side I would be working as usual. Let me go ahead and create a new text document. And I'm going to also go ahead and create a bitmap image. Um, and I'm going to also go ahead and create a presentation. Now you'll notice as these documents sync to the cloud, they immediately become available to the person that I've shared the folder with. So if you're going to be sharing quite a number of documents with people, or you're perhaps working on a project with people, what I like to do is create a folder within my OneDrive, share that folder with those various people. 
if required, I'll assist those people in creating the shortcuts like I've showed you. And then as and when I put documents into the shared folder, they will immediately all have access to those documents to work on them simultaneously with me to view them. And they can even add documents to this folder that I will have access to. So once we create this folder and share it amongst myself and a couple of colleagues, it serves as a space in the cloud that we all have access to, that we can all be contributors to, and we can all put documents in, edit, remove, and work together on a bunch of media that we will all simultaneously have access to that is stored in the cloud. Yeah, so I find this extremely useful. Something else I want to show you guys, if you're using uh, OneDrive in the browser, Office 365 or Office Online, um, however you want to word it, um, the process is very much the same in terms of creating. Um, so once I'm signed into the browser online, yeah, you can see I'm in uh, Office 365 Online. And if I click this tab at the top here, you'll see I have um, access to all the apps that I'm licensed to use. But the sharing process is very much the same. So if if I want to do add documents or shortcuts or anything to um, this space, I could simply drag and drop it. And it would automatically add it and sync it to the space. But talking about sharing, I could simply do the same as I would have done from my file explorer on my PC here. If I right click, you'll see that there is a share option. And again, the process and the idea is exactly the same. You specify who you'd like to share it with and it would send an email. You can copy the link and send it via another channel too. So there's really not much of a difference if you're working in the online space or if you're working in OneDrive locally on your machine um, as to sharing and what the process is. It's pretty much identical. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you find it quite easy and efficient and simple to share documents and files and folders using OneDrive. Um, if there's any questions, please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to help assist. If there's any better ways or better ideas of how to go about doing this or other applications, also please let me know in the comments below. I love to learn new ways of doing things. If you do like this type of content, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified of any future videos as and when I upload them. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Until the next time.